Okay, here goes the video without permission. But here we are, we are in our roomette and we've been in it for like 20 minutes and we both kind of thought the seats were bigger than you expected. Mm -hmm. So the seats are nice and wide and you see I got my feet crossed. And that's another key thing is that you get to take your shoes off. So there's people that we saw on the train that have house slippers. Tara got some house slippers just for the train ride. Um, but it's got this little table that pulls out that's little and it's kind of in the way if you're six foot four, but there's plenty of room to like angle your body over here. See, I got my backpack sitting over here. Tara's got hers hung up. There's the closet, which is clutch. So you can put your shoes down there in the bottom of that. You got these little Velcro things and then that's the hallway out there. Got the little safety latch. So you feel secure in here. You know, nobody can just get in. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I think it's pretty comfortable so far. I guess we should talk about the sleeping also. So there's these uh, beds that come down. Here's Karen. Hello. Oh, I think we're okay. We're going to skip. skip. Yeah, okay. but are you Karen? Yes. My name's Brandon. This is Tara. Hey, Brandon and Tara. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I'm over the corner because I ain't got your mask on. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, I'll put it on. Yeah, um, I forgot. Where are you guys going? We're going all the way. Going to San Francisco. Oh, okay. So, I was wondering, the dining car is behind us. Uh-uh, yeah, yeah, your first time? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm going to show you some things, okay? Okay. Okay, so the diner is one car, um, the very next car. You know your meals from the diner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then tomorrow, breakfast and lunch are included in your room charge. Okay. 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 Um, observation Cafe next to the diner. So, there's two cars in that direction. Okay. okay. Observation is behind the dining car? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Upstairs is the observation area. Downstairs is the cafe. So, okay. we'll go uh, car to car on the lower level. Uh -huh. And then Upstairs. we'll get in. Oh, okay. We'll you cross. each car on the upper level. Okay. Good oh, to know. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Oh, yeah, good to know. Uh, there's some coffee at the coffee station uh, across from the staircase if you like. You guys can help yourself. Yeah, I'm going to okay. have some. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So over here, you got a closet. Yeah, I love that. Oh, restroom down the hall on the right. More restrooms and a shower downstairs. Did I say that already? Okay, so that was our Karen who's going to be taking care of us the whole way. You got some of the information so you understand how these cars are situated. So that's great, actually, that she came on there and explained so much. While she was gone, she explained a little bit more. So... Over here, I've got a music controller, which I can switch stations and turn up volume somehow. Probably not gonna do a lot of that. You can control the ceiling lights. And then up here in the bed area, there's uh, blankets and stuff already made up there. This just folds down. These seats slide back and forth, which is awesome. So you can change the posture the whole way through. Yeah, it's like a car seat, so adjustable. It will adjust into a bed. And um, over there, You've got the temperature control, the one outlet that our room has, and another little light. There you go, I was kind of sitting on it, my bad. And then of course the little trash. Um, that's, that's how everything is. So it's, it's pretty cool, loving it so far. That is so beautiful. <laughs> Here's the tunnel. All right, so we're going up the mountains. We're about two hours into the trip and it's gorgeous. And we were just saying how it's interesting that in this tiny little car, uh, that's really not that tiny. You see how cozy we are? We're like lounged out, it's comfortable. But in this tiny little car, I feel decompressed. Like, I don't know if it's the length of the trip, knowing that we got 33 hours ahead of us, or maybe 31 now, right? If we're, the way it goes or what, but it feels great. Oh. So far, I really love this. So beautiful. So this is the, the, the bathroom. Each sleeper car has one of these. This is upstairs and down the hall from us.
All right, so here we are. Our uh, conductor just turned down the beds and flipped this down, which makes a nice little bed up here. When, and we ended up getting extra pillows. A person accused us of trying to borrow extra pillows, but we just bonused. Apparently the people before us left extra pillows or something. But it's nice and cozy. They put this whole extra like bed roll down. So it's kind of thick. Got some extra cushion. Okay, it's morning on the Zephyr. I'm not sure exactly where we are, but it's kind of beautiful out here. It's still high desert looking. And the sun is right about to come up over the mountains over there. Just wanted to say a quick uh, thanks to Amtrak for these blankets. They give you these blankets that fold down with the bed kit, and they are amazing. It's a really beautiful way to take. All right, so here we are in the dining car, which is one of the favorite places to be. It's almost always a pretty view outside the windows here. You can see there, we're going through some like high desert on our way to the Sierra Nevadas. My beautiful guest. And what I wanted to focus on in this video is the menu. So the breakfast, lunch, and dinner are excellent. So I'm gonna leave it there just so you guys can kind of see what's happening here. There is a nice children's menu, but we kind of thought children might get a little stir crazy on a train, but we might actually do really well. Train travel is pretty interesting. They find a way to keep you moving along so you're not bored, because it's just, it's always gorgeous out here. There's always something to look at. But back to the menu. Here's the lunch menu. We had the grilled cheese with the Caesar salad. Both were excellent. Um, today, what do you think we'll have, babe? I actually was looking at the um, kids menu as a home-style white cheddar mac and cheese. Oh yeah, mac and cheese, home-style white cheddar mac and cheese. That does sound good. That sounded kind of yummy. With Roasted chicken breast is nice and light. Uh -huh. With nice. the Caesar salad. Yeah, with the Caesar salad. I was gonna get it up. Interesting. Today. And then we'll go to the let's start with the desserts. They were out of the carrot cake, although here it's quite delicious. So we had the Philadelphia cheesecake, which was excellent. Graham cracker crust was excellent, very light, which went perfect with this chocolate tort, which was like this ganache brownie chocolate bar mix. The entrees, the flat iron steak was delicious. The pan roasted chicken breast was delicious. Um, I'm sure the other ones are as well. Tortellina, tortellini with pesto cream. We had the crab cakes, we had two of those. And those were both just fantastic. Um, I wouldn't mind trying some of those other things, but yeah, the food, the dining experience has been excellent. And bring a coffee mug if you like coffee. It's added like a nice little element of creature comfort to the days. And it's gonna be a nice souvenir. It's one of these ones with the uh, coaster bottom. So when you set it down, it's nice and soft. Anyway. Okay, I want to do a video on how these work. You just press them. It stays open. You don't have to worry about shutting it. You just walk away. Eventually, it'll just shut itself. Yeah. You know, it reminds me of 
actually can't remember right now the mother Colorado Mountain Time. This is cute. I mean California Mountain Time. Okay, this is the shower. So the shower part. It is a nice full-size shower if you need a detachable head. Um, we didn't really uh, choose to use it on this trip. Not a ton of room there, but there's room. The tiles, not a, there is an outlet right here, so it's all right. Okay, so we're back home from the trip. Um, it was a gorgeous trip. We both really think it was just kind of magical. The way it takes you out of your your natural rhythm and your pace of things and just kind of puts a pause on everything. Uh, I really love the feeling afterwards, except for this feeling I'm calling choo-choo trained, where I still feel like I'm on a train. Like three days later, sometimes when I look down to like tie my shoes or bend down to pick something up, I get this like dizzy, like I'm on a boat feeling, they call that dock shock. I don't know what they call it for trains, but um, overall it was a great trip. We're looking at going on a bigger trip next time with the family suite where it has the bathrooms in the suite, accessible bathrooms and places for four people to sleep. Uh, we think our family will really enjoy it. It turns out there's like these sleeper trains go all over the country. So this is gonna be like a real new uh, avenue to explore with our travels and I can't re recommend it enough to people like it really was worth the money something I'll never forget just a different experience a really great break as in a vacation from the, the rhythm like I say of daily life so that's it thanks for watching if you watch to this point Amtrak for real if you want to hook somebody up with some more tickets and I can do a better video next time just let me know I'm here for you but thanks for the services. Thanks for having your employees, you know, trained. Thanks for having all the food taken care of. Uh, it really was a great trip. Uh, everything from Amtrak was just 100%. It was a great experience. So yeah, that's it. Have a great day and travel safely.